Hey guys, what is up? Chase Live here and we're gonna do a quick little video on how to get the absolute best photos in Fallout 4. Now, uh, I use the mod called Photo Mode and in order to activate this, you actually have to be in third person. So you want to go into third person and you want to get into whatever pose you want to get into, whether you're in a firefight or you say you're just looking to get a cool little picture. And you go to the main menu and you go to photo mode now on here you're going to see a little menu pop up and you have free control over the camera you have a free cam now the number one thing that is not really explained is the zoom so the field of view is going to be your zoom you can either increase it to get more space or you can zoom in by decreasing your field of view yeah, if you want to get some really cool cinematic shots, I would recommend uh, changing it to a pretty low setting so it's pretty zoomed in. You can obviously do the uh, camera roll. You can also freeze time. Or if you're trying to get a really cool action shot, you can actually uh, unfreeze time and let something play out. Or if something's in the way, like for example, your dog, uh, you can unfreeze the time and maybe he'll walk away. But you want to get into a really good position here. You want to try and capture some really awesome action shots with this. It's really possible. But uh, there's more than just that. You can change your depth of view. Um, you can show your player. Or you can uh, hide him if you want to get some uh, scenic shots. You can also move him around. You can move him up or down. Uh, I know sometimes there's like clipping going on. So you can actually change the elevation. And then, of course, you can change your brightness, you can change your saturation, your contrast, your tint, all that good stuff. And that's pretty much it. Uh, once you get all your settings down and you get used to it, uh, you can get some pretty awesome pictures with this. And as you can see here, uh, you hit X to take the photo. And it saves the screenshot in uh, your uh, documents. Or what you can do is you can hit A to hide the UI and use a... Uh, third-party application like NVIDIA to, to capture the photo. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.